Hello and welcome to Elder Care Action Tips and Strategies. I'm Cheryl Kuba from Aging Parent Solutions. The acronym for Elder Care Action Tips and Strategies is EATS and we are hoping that by the time you are finished watching this you will have a plateful of tips that you can use to deliver elder care without despair. The decorations are down, the holidays are over, and the cards that came through the mail have really slowed to just a little trickle. And if you're elderly and you're not able to get out because of the weather or because you have ailments, and if you live in a climate where we are, like Chicago, we haven't been able to be out for days because of the snow and some of the cold. Folks are feeling that the days are really long, I have adult children calling me saying, Cheryl, my mother needs something to do. She is so bored. What we have to do is give them a job. There are all kinds of volunteer opportunities that our shut-ins can do because they have a telephone and maybe they can send somebody a card. There are a lot of churches and charity organizations that need cards filled out that your elderly mother can call somebody and give them some cheer. I know that at one of the churches that we work with, they give the shut-ins a list of phone calls to make so that they can offer hope and cheer right from the comfort of their own home. I spoke with a representative from the Salvation Army and he said that they often have the elderly in their area who aren't able to get out. They will bring them gift baskets to assemble and then the gift baskets go to needy children. We can also get that mail and those cards coming back in to give your own elderly parents some cheer because we've got another holiday coming up with Valentine's Day. Wouldn't it be terrific if your mom or dad who hasn't been out for a while and is really a little bit blue because the holidays are over maybe received 10 valentines, 15 valentines, maybe 300 valentines. All you have to do is let your family and friends know. Send them a blanket email with your mom or dad's address and their phone number and say, give my dad a call. He would love to talk to you. Now sometimes folks are a little bit reluctant to call the elderly because they say, oh, I don't know what to talk about or maybe we're going to have to talk about their ailments and they're a little bit timid. Do this. Call somebody who's elderly, give them some cheer, and tell them what the craziest gift was that you received over the holidays. And then ask them what the craziest thing they received was or what was the silliest Christmas newsletter that they received. You'll get them talking and I guarantee maybe they won't even stop. The third thing to do is take care of you. It's important that you don't let your own health go down and that you keep your spirits up. You take care of your mind, your body, and your soul. Eat right. Don't indulge in anything that you shouldn't be indulging in because where would your elderly parent be if something happened to you? just like they give us those instructions on the airplanes that say put on your own oxygen mask before you help an elderly person or an infant put on your own ox oxygen mask first when you feel stress coming up take a big gulp of air take a little break and take care of you we've been talking about elderly care action steps and strategies thank you so much for listening in if you want to hear more tips or read some of the articles about elder care without despair, you're probably seeing this on our website, Aging Parent Solutions. But if you're not, go to www.agingparentsolutions.com. It's also listed at the bottom of this video frame, www.agingparentsolutions.com. I'm Cheryl Kuba from Aging Parent Solutions. We're so thrilled that you joined us today.